God is a God of second chances and new opportunities. The writer in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11 says, I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race, and the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry, and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always live successful lives. It is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. Life is all decided by chance. Success in life is taking your chances at the right place at the right time. God in this season will cause a shift in your life that will move you to the right place at the right time. The opportunity you have been waiting for wouldn't skip you by. There are many fast runners who never had a chance to compete. Still, there are some fast runners who run the race to the finish but don't win the trophy because they started when it was not the right time. God is moving you from the wrong place and time to the right place and time in Jesus' name. Many people are very skillful but their skills are wasting away because they didn't get the opportunity to show their skills. God is bringing people on your way that will sponsor your skill in Jesus' name. You will receive contrast that will move you to your next level. Success happens when preparation meets with opportunity. When you see a man regretting in life, he is regretting because of the opportunities he failed to utilize. You can be the strongest warrior, but if you fight at the wrong place and time, you will be defeated. God of second chances and opportunity is coming on your way. God is opening doors of opportunities for you and your family. There are many educated, miserable people all around the world because they didn't have the chance that even uneducated people had. Pray with me, O oh Lord, give me another chance and another opportunity for success in Jesus' name. Whatever, Lord, you are doing in this season, Please don't pass me by. May God open doors of opportunities for you to profit from your degrees in Jesus' name. The degree you have acquired from the university will not waste in Jesus' name. God will open doors of employment. He will open business opportunities for you in Jesus' name. God is giving you another chance to choose the right relationship. God is giving you another opportunity to right all your wrongs. God is opening doors of opportunities for you to use the knowledge you have acquired. Many times, some opportunities come disguised as problems. It may not look like an opportunity when it is making you uncomfortable. Out of the debt, there is still the possibility of finding gold. How do you get to make the right choice? I advise you to have a mind of your own. We all don't have the same time and chance. If you are someone who values people's opinions more than your own, you may make the wrong choice. I want you to always look at the good side of everything that is happening in your life. Easier said than done, especially when you are in pain. Hear me, child of God. All things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. As believers, Apostle Paul in his final conclusion to the Philippians said, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Philippians 4 verse 8. Always believe that something good will happen to you right where you are. Think right and right things will follow you. Apostle Paul again said, A good door of opportunity for good work has opened up here. There is also mushrooming opposition. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9 Oppositions will come, but in opposition there is still an opportunity. 
Some people leave opportunities because of oppositions. If you are a strong believer in God, you will flip past the opposition and see the opportunity to be successful. God is opening a huge door of opportunity for good work for you in Jesus' name. Whoever is opposing the opportunity God has created for you will be dealt with by God. Galatians 6 verse 9 says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Doing good in every situation is an opportunity for you to reap success. Sometimes people will not appreciate the good you do for them, but don't let that change who you are. There are people you do good to who may never be able to do good back to you, but God will bring people that will do good to you. When you sow goodness, you will reap goodness. When you sow mercy, you will reap mercy. When you sow forgiveness, you will reap forgiveness. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. Galatians 6 verse 10. Whenever we have an opportunity, God wants us to do something good with it. When you see someone struggling, it is an opportunity to help. When you see someone who is hungry and you have food, it is an opportunity to be blessed. When you give to the poor and needy in society, you are giving to God and God will repay you in his own capacity. God says we should look for an opportunity to do good, not only to our friends or family members, but to all men. We should particularly pay a lot of attention to fellow believers and look for an opportunity to do good to them. When you help a fellow believer, Jesus says, And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly, I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. Matthew 10 verse 42 Look for an opportunity to serve the community of believers and you will be rewarded greatly. When there is an opportunity to give for the spread of the gospel, don't hold back. God is raising financial giants for his kingdom and God will see your heart when you have little before he will bless you with much. Apostle Paul admonishing the Philippians in Philippians 4 verse 10 says, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. They were willing to care for Apostle Paul, but for lack of opportunity, they couldn't. Opportunities don't always come every time. So when you have it, use it to show some care. You were willing to help the poor when you had nothing, but now God has blessed you. It is an opportunity to help the poor and the needy. I pray for you that doors of opportunities will open for you in Jesus' name. May God give you a second chance to do things right in Jesus' name. May you rise above every limitation in Jesus' name. Amen.